Hi, and welcome back to Purple Color Life. I'm Chad, and in today's video, finally some excavator work. Remember when we were kids in school and you had something excited planned for after school? You'd just sit there at your desk all day long, waiting and thinking about the fun you're gonna have later that day. That's what my work day was like today, waiting until the end of the work day so I could come out here and play in the new excavator. Now I say play, but we're not actually going to be playing. We're gonna be getting some important work done. That's important, Jennifer. This is important work we need to get done. But first, there's a couple things I wanted to show you. Something happened today just during the workday. I watched it happen out the window while I was working. I used this maple tree out behind the house as the basic indicator of when fall is starting. You can see those leaves at the top of the tree have started to change color to orange and red. But today I also noticed they're already falling to the ground. So that means we'll be doing some backpack blower, some mulching. I just can't believe we are at that time of year yet where not only are the leaves changing colors, but they're already falling onto the ground. This is our new Takeuchi TB235-2. This is a three and a half ton mini excavator, and this is gonna be the first project to tackle here at the house with it. What we're looking at today is over there in that high grass there are probably seven to ten stumps and i started to dig those out with the john deere with the front hoe bucket from artillion ran into a couple issues first of all the ground is soggy over there so the artillion bucket couldn't dig in deep enough because the tractor kept sinking into the mud the other thing we ran into and i made a video about it was there were a couple of small branches or sticks or something on the ground. One of them hit just the perfect right angle up into the fan of the John Deere hydrostatic cooling fan. And we had to replace that fan, made a video about that on our John Deere subcompact tractor. So before I even get in there real deep to the stumps, I'm just gonna touch it with the teeth of the bucket. That'll be a good practice on my uh, excavator skills make sure there's nothing in there I don't want to run over before I get into the stumps once we get to the stumps we'll start digging hopefully I make this look easy but it is my first time running the machine
Okay, so let's take a look at what I dug out so far. Uh, one decent size, you know, small, medium stump, and then a couple small stumps. That crab apple tree, nice to have it out of the way. And you can see I've still got some practice to do to get some leveling done to the ground after you dig something out like that. So we'll keep working on practicing. But I think digging out stumps, probably a great first project. You can see that I'm pretty slow going with the controls at this point. Um, but the more of these type of projects that do, I do, the faster I'll get and the more confident I'll get. So this is a great starting project. I've got one more apple tree stump to dig out here tonight. Olive does not know what to make of the excavator. It's, it's getting her pretty wound up. As you can see, she's feeling good today. Here's that last apple tree stump to dig out. That one shouldn't take too long at all. You can see all kinds of briars and brush back here. So I've been grabbing that, adding it to the pile. I'll come back here with the grapple on the John Deere, or maybe just grab it here with the bucket and the thumb. I'm not sure, but we'll get that taken down over the hill down there and thrown in the woods. In the future, I can take that tree down and get this out of here. Here's this old apple tree still producing apples, amazingly. You can see yellow jackets are making their way into the middle of that one. Well, that was fun. I got a total of seven stumps dug out. Some of them were very small. It basically just took the curl of the bucket to scoop them out. But still, my first real project with the mini excavator, and it was a lot of fun. Now, it probably was painfully slow. At least it felt painfully slow. Actual work time was less than an hour to do that, but I'm sure an experienced operator could do that in about five minutes or maybe 10, 15 minutes to get to all seven locations and do it. But 
still a lot of fun good practice for me and really enjoyed that first time using the TB235 2. Thank <laughs> you.